Hey there, all my fast track superheroes. It's Colton from JSO with another er, fast track transition services video. I know it's been a little bit, but um, kind of want to continue with the themes of what we're doing. Um, I know a lot of your schools are out at the moment, but I, um, we're gonna go and we're gonna keep trucking along. Like, like nothing really has ever changed. So um, this week we're gonna be focusing on kind of your strengths as a person. I know a lot of times, especially right now, with everything going on, that it's crazy. You tend to think of all of the negative and bad things that are going on. Well, today we're gonna think really positive, what you're good at, what you wanna learn, how you're gonna do that, and things like that. So, that being said, and a lot of times, it's very difficult to maybe build a resume or quote unquote sell yourself to somebody doing like a job interview right so it can be hard to think of all the good things about yourself of when you're going to these interviews or a resume but you can always think of something bad so we're going to switch that kind of mindset today and we're going to really just focus on what you're good at or if maybe you're kind of eh, iffy on something what you can do to kind of improve those skills. So really, the, I'm going to kind of go through a list of um, things that are, are like future employers and things that you could probably put on your resume a, that would be really good. Um, and if you are this, cool, great. A, and these are some of like, it's a pretty long list, but and I'll go over each of them, but a, a list of things that employers are kind of looking for. Are you a fast learner? So can you be shown something and then and instantly do it or maybe do it a couple times and then do it what about a problem solver so say a, something happens maybe at work or school or whatever and you can find a solution like that and it's pretty easy a planner are you organized is are do you have your dates do you write things down um, do, are you able to who be able to think things ahead of time a leader now, not everybody is a leader, but sometimes we have to get out of our comfort zone and be able to become a leader in certain situations when nobody else will. As well as a good listener. A lot of times people just listen to talk. I think it's really important to do what's called active listening. Is okay, I'm listening. I'm not here to listen to react. I'm here just to listen to you. And just really just focus on what's going on rather than what you're going to say as well as a good communicator. So being able to talk and being able to say what you want and be effective in that way. You don't want to be kind of like beat around the bush and go like over here and then over here and then over here. Straight to the point, this is what's going to happen. Able to accept supervision. No matter where you are, you're going to have a supervisor. Or unless you're like your own CEO of the company, but then you're still supervised by like state governments and things like that. So no matter what you do, you're always going to be supervised. So you have to be able to handle that. Also, able to complete assignments. And so whether that's school, work, or whatever, you have to be able to complete your job. If you don't, you're gonna get fired or you're gonna fail. Oh, able to make friends easily. You gotta be, yes, you're there to work or, or go to school, but yes, you need to make friends with your coworkers or with your classmates or wherever you decide to go. I think that's important because if you don't have that, how are you going to have a support system later on? You have to be able to be careful with following directions. So you got to be able to follow directions and you have to know the rights and wrongs and how to do something correctly. Dependable. Dependable is a really big one. You have to be responsible. You have to be able to whenever you say you're going to do something, you need to be able to do it. If you say something and then don't do it, it kind of looks really bad on you. Energetic and enthusiastic. you got to be ready, geared, and ready to go. Oh, oh, majority of the time. Yes, it can be exhausting a lot of the times, but going forward, if you're energetic, you're going to love your job, and you really do love your job, this shouldn't be a problem. you got to be good with people. Um, a lot of times, times, people don't think about that. They're like, oh, I'm just going to uh, work on a farm or I'm going to not really deal with people. Yeah, uh, you may not, but s 
sometimes you're gonna have to work with people well no matter what you do so it's good to have that relationship even if you don't like the person right off that you got to be able to and like well, fake it till you make it you got to be able to ooh, suck it up and just go with it you're they're not going to be there for long and it may be a stressful situation but you got to keep going you got to be a hard worker that's a really big one too a lot of people oh and a lot of them, future employers is that you're going to work with want to know that you're going to work and you're going to work hard like that's why they're going to hire you they don't want a slacker that's not going to do anything they want somebody that's going to do their job and maybe even go above that <laughs> Also being resourceful, like being resourceful. That's really just taking things and being very creative and using what you have to make a situation better or, or in any case, just making things good. <laughs> Gotta be, and kind of like the last one I'll touch on is like being loyal, being very, the um, thing you don't want to be like get a job and then instantly start looking for another one, and or um, even like in a friendship group or class, like you don't want to say something and then lie about it later. It's not really a good a d tactic to kind of have. So that's kind of a list. Obviously, there's more, and I'll link the list I was going off of uh, to go off of. But those are just some of the things. Um, another big one is computer skills. I know oh, a lot of us know how to use computers and know how to use them effectively however it never hurts to take courses read books different things about maybe how to use the basic microsoft things such as like excel word publisher powerpoint um i know you guys cover it in school or you should it, um but it never hurts to do a refresher or even just play around with it to see what you can do and who knows you may be able to use it and impress a future employer one day that's another big one that employers are looking for is computer skills because everything is online right now. So that's really good to know. Kind of like the last thing I want to go on is like what kind of employers are looking for or and different things that this is what a list of things that they're wanting. So self-management, being able to look at yourself and what you're doing and being able to regulate it. Say, okay, on these days I'm doing really well and then on these days I'm not doing so well so what are you doing on those days that aren't really well and what are you doing on those days that are you're doing really well on and kind of getting it so you have less of those and eh, I'm not doing so well days to being really good, good days time management time management is another really big one I know a lot of you guys work on it in school as well but time management is key to everything you got to be able to do things and you got to be able to do things in a timely manner you can't just be like oh i'll do it later or whatever if you're given an assignment or you're given a job to do you need to do it you need to do it as quick and as good as possible in a specific amount of time that they're giving you communication skills this is another big one i granted a lot of these are really big but communication is very important you need to let people know what you're doing and how you're doing it and being able to talk to people in a way that is friendly and nice and being able to say what you need without coming off as being really rude or not so rude. You gotta be able to work with others. There's, you gotta be able to work with a team. No matter what you do, no matter what job you're in, you're gonna have to work with other people. I know maybe if you start your own business, but then you have employees. It's, no matter what you do, you're gonna have to work with people. I know us loners out there it's not the best situation but we got to do it organization skills so that kind of goes back into like planning you got to be neat you got to be organized you got to be able to pick up something and go or you plan something step by step by step you know it can take a while to plan but once you plan something it's always goes pretty smoothly from there and if something doesn't go wrong okay Hey, this is gonna take this amount of time. Let's go and let's get right back to where we're at. You gotta be able to work with technology. Like again, com computers are, are pretty much what we work on on a daily basis right now. Oh, there's really not a lot of old fashioned things where you're gonna handwrite a lot of stuff. You gotta be able to 
use technology and use it appropriately. Being creative. Creative is another thing um, that is kind of not really looked at very often. So being creative, yes, you'll have a job description, you'll have something that you're going to be doing every day, but putting your own spin on it, yes, you don't want to do something completely not what they're looking for, but adding your own little element to it and being able to be resourceful and find things that maybe nobody else has tried in the past and try those and they're like, oh great, this is a great success because of that creativity. And kind of the last two, like writing skills and math skills. No matter what you're going to do, you're going to have to use math. Uh, even though you're maybe not be in a field that use math, math a lot, you're going to have to. Writing skills is another important thing. Being able to write effectively, use grammar effectively, and things like that. And I, I know I've even gotten in trouble in the past for not having the best writing skills. So it's something that we are constantly have to be aware of and you have to be able to, to look at it and get people to look at your work. Say like, hey, do you mind spell checking this for me? Or do you mind looking this over and make sure it sounds okay? Okay, I'm sure your future employers and even your classmates would be willing to do that. So I know that's a lot of information kind of for today. So I'm going to kind of end it there. Or, um, but I do want to do our superhero highlight for the week. Um, um, so this superhero, um, it's kind of a unique one. His name is Eugene Judd, or, and that's really his real name. But um, his superhero name is Puck. Well, Eugene was actually born as a kind of a giant in, in the sorts. Well, what happened was he kind of had a run-in with like a demon kind of sorcerer kind of person and decided, well, nope, I'm kind of mad at you and I'm going to put a spell on you and you're just going to be able to dwarf. Like, you're going to shrink. Okay, so he went from this really big being to being somebody of short stature. Or, and all abilities taken away from him, um, like super abilities taken away from him. So he had to be able to adapt and learn what skills he had now how that he was shorter in stature. So what he's really known for is doing like cartwheels and like really into fighting and like martial arts and things like that. So he took something of a negative aspect like that we all tend to think about and then making it positive. Yes, he wasn't this big old giant that he could just throw around people anymore. It was somebody with shorter stature that had to learn to adapt to his situations. The same with like he learned skills along the way and he honed in on specific skills that he knew he had. So that's kind of how it relates today. Um, I just want to remind everybody, if you all needed me, you know where to contact me. Also, I always want to make sure you always look on the upside of everything. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.